Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. I am doing my daily chess stream. I am a beginner chess player, as you can tell. My score is 372. I'm a total noob, I'm not very good at chess, but I am very good at writing books. I, I'm, I'm, I'm big into philosophy. Right now I'm working on a book called The Revolutionary Dreamer. It's, um, the subtitle is On Saints and Heroes. It's like a fictional story that I use as a vehicle to discuss political philosophy. So, you know, like the good guys have like um, the good guys have like Aristotle. They're into Aristotle and stuff like that. M meanwhile, the bad guys are um, like big into Nietzsche or they, they use that philosophy. It doesn't mean they're big into it. But um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. But let's get into the game, guys, because I'm getting wrecked already, dude. This guy's coming in on me. Let me, um, oh, what should I do? All right, all right, I'm coming in. I'm going to come in and try to take his horse. And this chess channel is also designed to make you feel better about yourself in terms of your chess game. Because um, if you see how bad I am, maybe that will uh, inspire you to uh, to work harder at chess because you don't want to be as bad as me. Something like that. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna do something kind of interesting here. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this guy up. I gotta get my I gotta castle my king, dude. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna castle queenside. I'm gonna queenside castle. But oh yeah, and and another format to this thing is um. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, another format to this game is uh, after every move I make, I want to make a deep philosophical statement. So I just made a move. So I'm going to make a deep philosophical statement. God is the unity of opposites. Carl Jung believes that. So that's my statement. Now I'm going to start talking about the chess game. This is a really weird chess stream, honestly. I don't think anyone's you know, weird enough to do what I'm doing, which is like try to mix chess with like discussions on ethics and stuff. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. But I enjoy playing chess and I enjoy talking about philosophy. So, but the problem is, I still I think I need to like you know get my groove in the sense that um, I'm not good at talking about philosophy and um, and doing well at chess at the same time. It's not easy to talk philosophy, to talk shop, and talk chess at the same time. see can i castle that i don't even know if i can castle hmm what should i do oh i just made a move okay another okay so my first statement was god is the unity of opposites my second statement is oh shit took my horse Man, and he messed up my pawn pawn structure. Didn't even see that coming. I knew he was going to do that, but watch. I was waiting for him to do that. Here's why. Watch. I'm going to get that knight now. I'm going to get that horse. Bop. Check. Didn't see that coming now. Did ya? Ha. I'm in the lead now. I'm in the lead now. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no way for him to save this knight. Okay, I just made a move. So God is the unity of opposites. And the unity of opposites, you know, they're opposites in many spheres of reality, right? Like there's uh, economic opposites, like rich and poor. So so the unity of rich and poor is charity and love. You know, we don't want there to be too many rich people and there to be, you know, if you have too many rich people, then um, it doesn't work. Mm, let's see. I'm, I'm going to slide in this way. I mean, no, no, if you have too many rich, too many poor people, it doesn't work. God, it's really hard to discuss philosophy and talk about chess the, and play chess at the same time. Yeah, so, so, and, and, you know, existence is to some degree a zero sum game. So there's like, you know, there's, there's opposites in the economic sphere. Uh, but there's also opposites in the political sphere. Obviously, you have left and right, you know, I think we need some compromise. There's too much polarization in the world today. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to bring my bishop up to um, 
my my light squared bishop up to b5 and try to skewer him because because if i bring that bishop up there he's not going to be able to move his queen because um he, the king is right behind it so that's my next opportunity here that's my next opportunity okay 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 so he's doing that i got him hold on wait let's see yep he didn't see it i got him i got his queen i got his queen Good game, folk. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Damn it. I didn't see that, guys. I didn't see that. That's a bummer. Ooh, I got to I gotta back down. I got to back down. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up with my bishop here. Oh, that lucky. That pawn got lucky there, dude. Oh, man. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back down this way. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Whew, this is an intense game. All right, I'm gonna focus on the game now. So yeah, man, that that was actually the first book I ever wrote. It was called The Paradoxical Light. It's about um how God is love and love is is the unity of opposites. If you're into Jesus at all, you know he often talks about. Mm, let's see what I can do here. It's not really threatening anything. I'm still up one. Oh, watch this move here, dude. So I can take his his bishop, and his bishop can't take me. I mean, his pawn can't take me because because then that would expose the king. So I got him. I got him. I'm going to castle my king, man. I got to get my king out of this. Oh, just like he did. Hmm. Oh, watch this move. Watch this move. It's called. This is going to be called a revealing, a revealing. Oh, no, wait. That's not going to work. Never mind. I'm just going to castle. All right. This is an intense game, guys. Ooh. What did he take? I, I forgot what that was. Was that my... Was that a knight? Was that my bishop? Oh, damn. That was my bishop. Uh, that's a bummer. All right. So I'm going to do this. Oh, no. I'm going to move my... He's probably going to take... Ooh. Didn't see that coming. Oh, he forked me. God. He forked me. That was a bummer. He forked me. Now I don't know what to do, guys. He's up one. He's plus one on me. Okay, I'm gonna slip in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to pull this move out. That way, open up my space for my um for my knight to come in. Yeah. So my first book is about you know the future potentials for human civilization stuff like that. Like I examine historical patterns of civilization. Uh, Arnold Toynbee, if you're familiar with that historian, he talks about the rise and fall of civilizations and how Rome and the Chinese civilization. And all of them went through all this stuff. Oh, okay. He's trying to he's trying to come in on me. All right, watch. I'm gonna okay. Hmm. Oh, I got him. I didn't even see that. Bop. Got him. Give me that. Give me that. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my Whew, this is intense. So yeah, the future of civilization. I talk about some deep stuff, actually. The future of human civilization. Whatever it's going to be. But like historical patterns, right? Every civilization goes through five general stages. Um, Genesis, which is the birth of civilization, which usually depends on culture. Then there is... Um, hmm, what's he trying to do here? Oh, check out this move. You guys are going to love this move, guys. You guys are going to love this one. Watch, because I'm about to check him, right? I'm going to bring my queen into F7. F7. As far as I can tell, there's no way. I don't know if he's going to see. Oh, I can't, because then his queen is there. His queen is still there. I hope he moves his queen, dude. I hope he moves his queen out of that line. 
Oh, he still did it, but it didn't move it out of that line. Hmm. All right, well, okay. Hmm, I don't know what to do here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm going to snap one of his up. Snap. So, yeah. So, Genesis, which is the birth of civilization, which usually depends on, you know, usually there's like some, you know, charismatic leader who's able to unite a group around him beyond tribal affiliations. And then you have um, growth, which depends on a culture being able to meet the creative challenges of civilization hmm he's threatening my hmm that'll be a checkmate honestly so i'm not going to do that so i'm going to bring my bring my rook right there I got to watch out for that checkmate. Oh, that was a good move by him. Okay, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to do some finagling here. I'm going to go for the check. Open up that check. Cause I gotta, I gotta stop his queen. His queen is threatening a checkmate. His queen is threatening a checkmate. I should have probably just scooted up my king, honestly. I'm actually beating him in terms of material, at least. But, but he's his king is a little bit more protected than mine. Matteo Turano. Matteo Turano. So there's Genesis growth, a time of troubles, which usually results from a, a civilization being overreaching and extending too far. Think of the Roman Empire. Think of Nazi Germany. They just tried to conquer too much, and that gave them some in, internal instability. I knew he was going to do that. I'm just going to throw my king right here, dude. And then there's all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. And then, yeah, because of the time of troubles, there's usually some, there's the, the fourth stage of civilization, according to Arnold Toynbee, is the universal state, which is a period. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm not doing that well. So a time of trouble, uh, the universal state is when a civilization starts to fall apart and the elite use force to unify the civilization you know, Rome, I think a good example of that is when the Rome stopped becoming a republic and became an empire, you know, Julius Caesar and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna check him. I'm gonna check him here. I'm just gonna check him. He's got a, he, oh, wait, what? Oh, I think I got him. I think that's mate. Honestly, I think that's mate. I think that's mate because he can't move down. He can't move to E7. He has to, he has to bring his, he has to bring, he has to bring his rook up to protect it. Got him. Checkmate, boys. Namaste, peace and love, guys.